Hi, this is WebWork from PortableFreeware.com. Uh, today I'm going to be going over one of the great portable pro programs that we offer on the site. Uh, it's called Rapid CRC Unicode. It's kind of a strange name for a program, uh, but I found that this one works better than all the others. And I wanted to highlight it to demonstrate a process that almost everybody runs into, which is just making sure that your files are exactly what you anticipated having. Um, this is great for whenever you do backups. This is great for when you're transferring files. This is great for just making sure that your stuff hasn't corrupted. Frequently when I'm sending a file over the internet or I am backing it up to CD or DVD or anywhere else, I wanna make sure that it's the right thing. Now, what I'm about to demonstrate is built into a lot of programs out there. Lots and lots of programs have hash, program, hash tools. They will all automatically check the integrity for you. Uh, sometimes it's nice to get your hands dirty. Sometimes it's nice to find out how these things work and, and actually do them yourself and know how they work. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to open up the Rapid CRC Unicode Portable. Now, this is down, available from portablefreeware.com once again. And the terrific thing about portable software is it runs exactly the way you want, whenever you want, from wherever you want. Uh, all you need is a Windows computer. Uh, in this case, uh, anything that's Windows XP or above. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch the program, Rapid CRC Unicode Portable. And as you can see, the window has a lot of, a lot of letters, a lot of information on it. There's a lot of options here. Uh, skip past all that. Really, when it comes right down to it, this program is very simple. So I'm going to add in a directory full of information. In this case, it's a freely available, downloadable CD that is, comes off the Internet that I really like. DJ Hunter, Spy Hunter's Powder Breaks. I'm going to drag and drop that in. I'm going to create an SFV file, and I'm going to create one for all the files. I'll say OK, and it'll give us the option of uh, where we want to put that. So I'm going to go ahead and save it to the same folder, uh, demo, D-E-M-O, and save. Now uh, that file is saved to the same folder. There's the demo.sfv, and what we've done here is we've created a series of fingerprints in a single file. Now you can open this, open up this file, and I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, drag that over into uh, Notepad, and as you can see here, it's got a list of all the files, and here's that little little combination that you probably saw inside the file. Each one of these is listed out in a text file. Each one of these refers to both the directory and the file that you're saving. Very easy, very simple even gives you a note about where you got it and what was used. So if somebody comes across this file, they know what they can run to check it with. SFV is a format that's been created to check for information of this nature. So if you have a folder of any size with any amount of information, you can quickly run a check on it. So now we've got our, our file, now we've got our folder. Let's say we want to check it sometime in the future. Let's imagine that uh, months from now, we will want to check and see that this information is still exactly how we left it. So when, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, open up Rapid CRC, and instead of adding the folder with information, the DJ Spy Hunter uh, item, we're actually going to just open up the SFV file. So we drag and drop it in there, and as you can see, there's a little checkbox near each one of them. What happened here is that the program ran a simple check that it did before, and it saw that each individual CRC, which is essentially a fingerprint for each one of those individual files, was correct. It's exactly how it was logged previously. So let's say we burned this to a DVD. And later on, there's a scratch on that DVD. We're not sure if the data is OK anymore. Do we need to go and see if we can find an earlier version of our CD? So the scratch didn't hurt the data. And you can use this, as I say, for any amount of information over any amount of time with any number of files uh, under any number of directories. And Rapid CRC in particular is very, very smart and very, very easy and very friendly drag and drop for this. Now, uh, as you can see, there's other options down here. You can create an MD5 file, an SHA1, SHA256, and it's SHA512. I won't go into it in this demo, but what you can do with these is get a higher and higher level of clarity. So for example, if you use MD5, 
there are very few chances that it's very unlikely that you'll run across a file that just accidentally shows up incorrectly. You know you've got the right data for the right file. You know you've got the right fingerprint. All right, so that's just a basic introduction um, for uh, Rapid CRC. Uh, great program. Love working with it. Tons of features underneath there. I encourage you to download it, play with it, find out what it can do, uh, and find out all the great options underneath the hood. Uh, I've worked with the developer in the past. Really nice guy. Um, take a look and see. Thanks, and have a good week.